gentlemen, I'm delighted to uh, present the next speaking award to the miracle man, Mr. Armstrong Pame of the 2009 batch. Armstrong is not only the first IAS officer from Zimi Naga tribe of Manipur, but is also known for making the impossible possible. Hailing from a small village of Impa in the Tausam subdivision of Tamanglong district of Manipur, he initiated the building of the famous People's Road. Along with the support of the people of the area to connect Manipur with Assam and Nagaland. Beginning with his own salary and family saving, his effort pulled together resources and contributions from all across the world through social media platforms. Recently, he once again convinced people to come forward and succeeded in building the first ever national highway to be built on zero compensation basis, which is now very successful and is National Highway 137. Speaking is privileged to felicitate Sri Armstrong Pame on his numerous ac accomplishments and contribution to India and confers on him the Speaking Award for Excellence in Public Policy and Governance. So I was wondering what to speak because there will be so many of my seniors here in the next few days, I might land up working under them. So I have to be very careful in what I speak. Well, if you think, if, if you are thinking and imagining if IS is an elite service, I'm here to tell you that a village boy like me, who came from a village which had electricity and road for the first time in 2010, and be able to come up to where I am today, where Cyril Sandberg took out two hours of her evening at Davos meeting to host a high, you know, a high tea. So I've come up to that stage. So I'm here to tell you that IS is a service which has a representation from every sectors and every layers of the society. Here I am. I'm so thankful to God and the government for placing me where I am today. Without being in the IS, I wouldn't have been able to make it where I am today and to be able to accomplish the little bit of the satisfaction that I get growing up as a village boy used to working, uh, walking from my village to the district headquarter for about two days on foot. And I'm so privileged that today I've been able to bring little change together with all the government servants and the politicians working in my state. Well, being in the service for the last 13 years or so, I've come across different people advising me on different things. They say you have to be extremely careful on the rules. A house gets burned. Should I be busy reading on the relief rules? The person, the woman just come and stand in front of you in your office, you know, with her children, with her house, when her house being burned. Should I be worried about how is the procedure to get sanctioned for the relief. I believe we have, in my opinion, there were some who advised me that you have to be careful, you have to be careful. So now my answer to them is, if we are to be too careful and being scared of the rules and regulation, there will be no work left for the lawyers. I've learned that if you do work with clear intention, positive intention, to reach the people for whom the scheme is meant for, the rules will take its own course, and that you will be there to be supported by your seniors. 
they will always stand by you. That is exactly when we started this People's Road. I was posted as an SDM in my district, uh, in my subdivision. I get tired of walking on foot, visiting from one village to the other. So I came down and discussed with the PWD commissioner and the chief secretary, and Manipur being a defi resource deficit state, we do not have money. They said it's going to take a lot of time to get the project sanctioned. I said I have just one year off to be an SDM. So I did best what I have to do. I went back, decided to start crowdfunding road. We did it. It became a very huge success. Then I came back in 2017 as a DM. Now it gives me a better opportunity. So I went to NHIDCL. I sat down with the MD. And he said, Armstrong, we do not have money for compensation. The amount of land acquisition is too much. I say, my duty is to find solution. So sir, if I convince the people for zero compensation, will you still do the road? Yes, why not? I remember that was on the 14th of March, 2020, three days or uh, maybe a week before the pandemic was declared. I came back, sat down with all the villages chiefs, the landowners, after eight months of convincing them, because their next neighbor was get, they were getting 40 lakhs per acre of land. And now to get about 1,000 acres of land free of cost. It was humongous tax. I sat down with them for you know, over six months period and convinced them. I came, finally came back with this paper. I sat down, sir, here are all the affidavits that they will not claim compensation even for their generations to come. He was surprised. He said, okay, you go ahead. I'm going to give you 3,200 crore for this road. And I'm extremely happy to tell you that this road is a full go now. 300 w uh, machines are working day and night. So this is what happens, and I believe government has blessed me with this opportunity to find solutions. And to conclude, thank you, Spigling, for recognizing us. During the pandemic times, the news media, the whatever, you know, you name it, they only speak about doctors sacrificing their time, losing their life, this and that. At least the doctors and nurses, they have shifts, right? They work from, like, they work for one week, they're given another three, four days break. DMs, we don't have substitutes. We work in the field, I remember, we used to sleep as a DM, we used to sleep only like three or four hours in a day for about, uh, I think it went on for about five to six months. No one came to interview us. No one talked about how much sacrifices we did. But thank you so much for recognizing us. And I will continue to give my best, irrespective of wherever I am placed. And I shall forever be thankful to God and to the government for making me to be what I am. Thank you, everyone.